Hey guys, so I am ready to start my day. I'm gonna make some breakfast, just got out of the shower. So we're gonna make some breakfast and then you guys can eat with me while I chat with you. And it's gonna be an eat with me kind of video today. So let's get started on what I'm gonna make. It's really weird talking to the camera and wanting to look at myself and remember that the camera's up here. So, got my little fly, my dead fly right there by my eye. Um, okay, so let's get started and make some breakfast. All right, so, so far I have my skillet heating up. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit. I just sprayed a little bit of olive oil in there. And to that, I'm gonna add some of this frozen I had to thaw it a little bit in the microwave because it was all in a big clump. I have a piece of leftover smoked sausage I'm just going to cut up and throw in. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit more and I'm going to give it another spray with my olive oil. And then I've got these cage-free eggs in a carton, 25 calories for three tablespoons and no carbs, no cholesterol. No fat. So I'm just going to, not really going to measure it. I'm just going to pour it on the bottom of the pan so it coats. Like so. I got my ice water chilling. I drink strictly ice water these days. I've been off of soda for, well, not strictly. I have my iced coffee or coffee a few, morning, a few mornings a week. Um, but other than that, I'm strictly water. I have been soda free for. I believe today is my fifth day. I'm gonna give that a go around. It's almost done. I don't like my eggs running. I like them dry. And I'm just going to take a very little sprinkle of cheese on top. I'm trying to get better with portion controls, especially stuff that's not that healthy for me. It's done. I'm going to put it on my plate and I'll be back to eat with you guys. All right. I think I, <laughs> all right. Welcome back. I think I have this figured out now. I have you sitting on a box and another bag so you can see the plate. Um, it's not going to be the easiest to eat because it's up so high, but we're going to try to work through this. And the next time 
I will think through this a lot better. Um, I did want to say first a huge thank you to Shell. She sent me some treats for the kitties, and I'll insert a clip of that here in a minute. And then she also sent me the Mr. Coffee cold brew coffee pot. Love it. And I will insert a clip as I'm talking. You can see me making my first cup of cold coffee with it. I'm not having it this morning. Um, I have a little bit of heartburn going on. So I decided to forgo the coffee this morning, but I will definitely show you again what you're seeing right now, the coffee being made, how I made it. And it is delicious and perfect. I don't have to wait for coffee to cool down. I don't have to remember to make it the night before. I can just make it right then and there and drink my iced coffee. So thank you very much to her for that. It was amazing and I appreciate it so much. Also, as always, a huge thank you to Marcine. She has sent us tons of stuff as always. Um, during my break, of, actually she sent me this beautiful table. I am so in love with that table right there that you do not even know how much I love that table. Um, I have been looking at that table for so long and then it was out of stock and then it came back in stock and she surprised me. I wasn't even expecting it. That was when I was taking my time off from YouTube. So thank you so much, Marcine. She also sent me this very cool clock. It's a word clock and I'll insert a little clip of it or a picture of it so you can see what I'm talking about. It is the niftiest thing we have in our bedroom and it's always cute to see it when it flips over. So thank you to her for that as well. All right, so I'm gonna get started eating. I'm going to put on my, I was gonna have a Carb Master tortilla, but I decided to skip that. Um, this is what we've been eating on our foods lately. It's the Top EMS hot sauce. Jean said it's kind of like Louisiana hot sauce. I'm not familiar with hot sauces. This is like the first time I've ever eaten hot sauce consistently. Um, we have sriracha and other kinds, but this is kind of my favorite right now. And of course this isn't going to do the heartburn any good. So, you know, but it is yummy. So let me take my first bite and see how it tastes. Very, very good. Also got my ice water. I'm strictly ice water now, except for iced coffee or regular coffee a couple times a week. Um, but other than that, this is my fifth day, soda free, nothing but water. I am feeling better. The caffeine withdrawal was a little hard. Um, I might have a diet soda every once in a while, but for now I've decided to not drink soda of any kind or anything else, just water. So, so far so good with that. So as you probably have seen, I posted my I'm back video last week. Well, it was actually the week before that. And then I haven't posted another video in over a week. Um, I wish I could tell you it's because I was so busy or I had all these amazing things going on, but I just didn't feel like posting a video. Um, every day it sounded like a good idea. And then when I got ready to do it, I was like, I'm just not feeling it. So I didn't do it. I don't want posting videos to become something that is forced and something that I just don't enjoy because then that takes the fun out of it. So I've decided to post when I want to and that will make wanting to post a whole lot better. We have been a little busy um, 
getting the preparations for the 4th of July picnic barbecue all closed up and cross the T's, dotted the I's. So I think everything is almost done for that. We ordered, I'll show you later in the week when we put the gift bags. We have goodie bags we're gonna give out. Um, and then decorating. Hopefully the weather holds out for us because we got rained out on Memorial Day. But now, as of now, they're calling for a 50% chance of rain and a high of 72. So we're crossing our fingers that the weather forecast changes by the end of the week. Otherwise, we're gonna to need to move it indoors and then postpone the games and music once again. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I started a new medication. Um, as you'll probably see by the title of this video, it's called Give It Time. And that's what my doctor is telling me. I started a new, new medication for anxiety and depression. And so far I do not like the side effects. like the side effects are worse than the symptoms I was having from the depression and anxiety um, I have developed sores in the corners of my mouth corners of my mouth if I can speak um, directly affected caused by the medication um, but there, my doctor assures me that they will eventually go away and everything will be fine. I've been having some really bad anxiety. Um, I'm going through menopause and the lack of, um, Hormones, estrogen, all that kind of stuff is triggering worse anxiety. I already have bad enough anxiety as it is, and this just adds to it. So, I've been having to take um, Vistaril for my panic attacks quite a bit lately. And that makes me sleepy. Um, I was prescribed Visceral years and years and years ago. That was the first medication I was prescribed. I take it as needed. And it works really well. Um, but the bad part about that is it makes me very sleepy. So... I end up sleeping a lot. Then a few years ago, I was switched to Ativan and that worked really well. I had no side effects from it as any, at all. Um, I, it made the panic go away, but I didn't get sleepy, so it was perfect. But then when I switch doctors, my new doctor won't prescribe it because it's a controlled substance. So I went back to the visceral. And like I said, I don't like that it makes me sleep, but as long as it works to help me not be panicked, it's fine. Hang on one minute. Okay, I got rid of the box. The high one because it was too awkward to try to eat. So. Oh, 
I've wanted to stop this medication multiple times. But like my doctor assures me that it will get better and to give it time. So I'm gonna try. Um, let's see, other than that, Gene's working right now. His shifts are wacky right now for some reason. Um, he had to be at work at 6.30 this morning. I don't plan on checking my comments on a regular basis, especially after I start my members only live streams. But I was last week and as always rumors pop up. Somebody started the rumor that I had stage four cancer and I was dying. Definitely is not true. Um, I'm definitely not dying definitely do not have stage four cancer. Um, I do want to thank everyone. I have gotten so many wonderful positive comments and supportive. I also want to say that there's a, quite a few people who were upset because I decided to start a members only. I just want to verify and say again, the members only is just an addition to the videos I upload. I'm not going to stop uploading videos. It's just a way to interact with people without having to wade through the negativity and the toxicity that's in the comment section. And there is a lot of it. Um, and I understand that it's, maybe not something that everybody can afford totally understand that and like i said i will still be here uploading videos i've had i've had quite a few people comment and ask me to um give my two cents on the other two weight loss channel girls that upload videos that I'm always lumped in with, which is Amberlynn Reed and Foodie Beauty. Mm. That little bit, last little bit was really hot. Um, I saw last night Amberlynn had posted that she was going through something and she might not be able to post any videos this week. Uh, whatever she's going through, I hope she's okay and I send my prayers to her. Um, I really haven't caught up on many of her videos. She's doing live streaming mostly now. And same goes for Foodie Beauty. I have watched a few of hers and uh, I really don't know what to say about that. Uh, the Chantal that we knew a few months ago has seemed to cease to exist and we have been replaced with um, Hoochie Beauty or Floozy Beauty. I don't know what you wanna call her, but she seems to have gone off the deep end The last video I watched of hers, she was high and talking about some sloppy sexual encounters that she's had. So no clue what's going on with that chick. Um, a lot of people want me to react to the videos. I'm considering doing that or just giving like my little review of this week in Chantal's life, this week in Amberlynn's life. Um, no judgment, 
I've got my own hot mess of a life over here. Just telling you what I think. Everybody else um, forms their own opinions, so I'm not unlike anybody else. Just because I'm fat doesn't make me have any less of an opinion. Um, none of us are in the position to judge anyone else, whether we're fat, thin, millionaires, poor. We all put our pants on one leg at a time. And there's Gene. He is... Vernon Eugene is messing up my video by texting me. Um, I'm going to go see what he wants in a second. But none of us are any better than the others. Um, and whatever I say is not in judgment. I hope that Chantal gets her act together. I hope that Amberlynn is okay. Um, I'm just going to tell you what I think. I've, I've walked on eggshells wondering what I should say, wondering what I shouldn't say. I'm just going to say it, and if you don't like it, you don't have to watch. If you want to complain about it, that's fine too. But I'm just going to be me and do me. And if you don't like me, I'm sorry. Well, I'm not sorry. Nobody's going to like everybody. So if you don't like me, that's fine. You can find another channel you like. Um, I will not be cruel. I will not be mean. But I'm going to be blunt and honest and tell you what I think. So coming up, I will have some more videos like that. Um, and not just those two. I mean, I'm going to do reviews on other channels and talk about what I think about different subjects. Uh, we're going to do some more cook with me's and eat with me's. And uh, who knows? I'm really excited about this because now I feel that I don't have to upload any certain content. I feel more free to be myself and uh, share with you guys. So stick around and I will see you again soon probably the next day or the day after that I hope you guys are having a good week and uh, hope you're having some fun plans for the 4th of July weekend coming up or Canada Day if you're in Canada on July 1st so I will talk to you guys soon remember be the love be the light and do good things see you soon